seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on, guys? It's me, Rocky X. Coming at you today on some more Ark Survival Evolved from the Sons of Anarchy with a K server. Sitting here talking to Velvet because uh, nobody else wants to hang out with me today. Just here on my lonesome. Was having some pretty striking conversation, but I guess I better get up and get to it. Take a, take a dump randomly that disappeared. Now I'm stuck floating in front of the, this is wonderful. This is what this is exactly how I pictured this start <laughs> starting off. Okay, well. I guess I'm gonna sit here in convulsions and go through what the plan is today. No, I can't do that. Cause I gotta show you guys some epic stuff. Um bum 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 ba dum bum dum bum 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 ba bum 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 be right back. Be right back. Once I figure this crap out. Hey! Okay, yep, I'm out. In K mode. Okay. So, let me show you guys. I can't get out that way. I know I can't get out that way. Let me show you guys what's been going on. First and foremost that was so awkward. First and foremost, right? Let's unhitch our dino. And by dino, I mean horse, of course. Can I please ride you? Thank you. T-Bunny brought us into the 21st century. That was such a... I got some points. Gonna have to put you... Put that into speed. Being sea waffles, sun, and whatnot. Okay, so. As you can see back here. T-Bunny brought us into the 21st century. We got us a tech gate. Um, she said she was never gonna go through it. We had to go through again to try and get all these dadgum rexes out of here. So, um, she upgraded this little pin out here just a wee bit. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about it. Plus, it gave us an excuse to build a tech gate, which is always awesome. So, I'll show you the guy, uh, show you, uh, the Rexes that we ended up keeping. We have probably, well, number one. Ooh, I gotta name this. I forgot you guys gave me some really, really awesome names for this, too. So, okay, so I don't know if it was just the lighting or what, but this is definitely not, this is definitely not green and purple. It's like green and brown. We'll come back to that in a minute, but um, I was pretty disappointed by that. It was like the lighting that that was uh, happening at the time. Let me get over here and show you guys the Rexes that we kept. I think we kept like 22, 23 of them. Something like that. So we've got enough for at least, you know, one and a half boss fights or something like that. And uh, obviously we continue to improve the line little by little. So we'll have to weed them out. This is a, all the Rexes that used to be over here got wiped out. And this is the new stock. So... Like you saw last time, they're right about 12.5, 12.4 as far as the health goes and 420.8% melee. Some of them are a little better than that, but not by much. So that's the the new line we're rocking. We got to level them up and somebody was asking how we're going to go about doing that. Um, Usually like we'll set on them and craft a bunch of stuff or um, we'll actually just go around because don't forget XP is turned up a little bit on here. So we'll go around and, and uh, just ride them for about a day. I don't know. It does kind of stink because the, the the other Rexes that were over here had a good 30 or 40 levels that we could have pumped into them that now we're, you know, replacing with these. But it'll be, it'll pay off in the long run. So, that's what's going on there. The plan for today, guys, I'm actually going to tame, since I'm by myself, I'm going to tame something that I've never tamed before. Let's have a real talk. Never in the history of my arcage have I ever tamed an anglerfish, which seems like, oh god, it's just an anglerfish. I think it'll be cool because I've never tamed one, but I'm going to use that anglerfish to tame me a manta, which I think everybody will be super jealous of when I'm riding around surfing on top of the water on a manta. So that's the plan. I don't even know. It's been so long since any of us have been over to T-Bunny's base. It's just kind of ridiculous. So I'm going to go over there. She's been, you know, chilling over here. She's been slumming it over here at my base. Couldn't decide which one you want to hitch to, huh? You really wanted to hitch that one over there? That's cool. We can come back over here. We got to go over to T-Bunny's base. And see what we can even take. Ooh. I'm halfway tempted. No. Don't waste the element on a mega. I mean, I need Wombat and T-Bunny here to make the um, Tech Megalodon saddle. Let's go ahead and name this. Man, there were so many awesome names. Um, oh. Okay, what are we going to name it? Decisions, decisions. So there were so many good ones. Uh, we had Gangrene. We had Jockey. We had Slobber. We had, uh, what else did we have? We had some really, really cool ones that I really liked a lot, but I think what I'm going to go with is the Hulk. Even though it turned out not to be green and purple, it just seems pretty fitting to me. Um, options. Okay. Maybe I'll just abandon that midway through. I hate the freaking E thing. The Hulk. I mean, it doesn't sound any more intimidating than that whenever you're like, 
Yeah, just let me hop on the Hulk. We'll go out and do some. I'll, maybe I can paint his saddle purple or something. Okay, so now we named. Oh, there were so many good ones. It was so tough to decide. I hope we get some more green ones because I really liked like four or five of the names. It was it was ridiculous. I don't even remember all the ones that I liked, but there was. You guys did really good on this one. Okay, enough of that. Let's hop on the Griffin. Let's head over to T Bunny's base. And guys, just remember, if you end up enjoying this video, to hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out a lot. Leave me a comment because I love to hear from you guys. And you know I love to talk to you. And then make sure to subscribe if you have not already. That way you can catch the episodes at least every Wednesday and Saturday on the Vanilla series. Um, I've, it was brought to my attention that some of you guys may not even know exactly when it is that I'm posting. So yeah, at least every Wednesday and Saturday on the Vanilla series. And I try to throw at least one random other video, whether it's ARK or something else in there. Maybe on Monday or Thursday. So let me get over to T-Bunny's base real quick. Once we get there, we'll cut back in. Also, I don't have anything that I need to tame this with, so I'm going to turn around and then I'll come back. Okay, so we're over here at T-Bunny's base. And I'm really glad that I remembered to go. Floating dolphin. I'm really glad that I remembered to go get my <laughs> scuba stuff. And the oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I left without the cooked mutton. Oh, that can be a real pain in the butt. Oh no. Okay, so <laughs> that coming. It turns out the only thing that I still have over here, I don't know. I guess um I left my Megalodon at Wombats or something, which it looks like I'm gonna have to go back anyways. But I think the only thing I have left over here is Calamari. She's doing all right. Um so that may be what I take out? I don't know. God, I cut back in expected. God, I gotta go get freaking cook freaking mutton that gummy. Okay, like I was saying, I'm here at Wombat's base, and of course I remembered to get the uh, cooked lamb chops, because how am I going to tame it without that? You know what I mean? Like, I would never forget that stuff. Um, And, of course, Shark Cuban is here, so let me throw on my scuba stuff before I drown. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, No, I'm not worried about putting those on. And that, let's go see if we can find us an anglerfish. Okay, open. Okay, so that didn't take too long. I just got to figure out which one of these it is. Plus, there's eels and freaking jellyfish around here, which probably not the best place to try and tame one. So let's see. We got a 96 right there. That's the one I'm wanting to go after. I've got to get rid of these other two, which should be real easy considering I didn't bring... I don't think I brought any regular arrows. All I have is freaking trank arrows. So how am I going to bite? Oh, and the freaking jellyfish are coming. This is going to be a whole thing. What's up there? Scary... Dolphin scary dolphins. I don't know. I don't know what that is. There's something else over there Everything how am I gonna kill? How am I gonna kill you guys? Maybe maybe they won't be too bad to knock out Let's see. I think I brought plenty of arrows. But let's just start shooting at all of them And maybe I can put all three out. Oh god Okay, one of them's tearing off already that must be a low-level one they got scared. No, that's it. Um, I need you to come here. And of course, I will not miss because I'm a beast. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Shark Cuban. No, no, no. Shark. Shark Cuban, stop. I don't want you killing him. That's the eight. Which means this one must be the 96. Okay. All is okay. I just need you to go out. And I need you not to attract any jellyfish or eels or other sharks. That would be spectacular of you. Night, night. Angler fish. Angler dis. Help! Why am I not... Stop it, Shark Cuban. Shark, get out of the way, bro. These things are slow. I think they're supposed to be fast once they're tamed. We shall see. I've never, I've never got to tame one. Like I said, is it out? No. You're going to die, aren't you? Please don't die. That'll make me pretty sad. You look kind of bloody. Shark Cuban, for the love of God. Um, please go out. Oh, no, no, no. no, 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 no,
Come here. Should I keep it? Eat this? Help! Is that the... Are you the 96? Please don't be the 96. Okay, you're the 8. 96 is over there. It's going to be a huge battle that hopefully I can come out on top of. I've got my eye on the 96. Hopefully we don't lose Shark Cube. Oh, he is beasted! Help! Okay, hold on. This is just stupid. Let's go ahead and take this one out. I cannot afford to hit that jellyfish. I mean, <laughs> that anglerfish one time with Shark Cuban. Because it will be a wrap. Okay, okay. Now, where did you go? Anglerfish? I know you weren't far. Uh... Uh, did you? Oh, I'll be so sad if you got eaten. Oh, I'm gonna be so sad if you got eaten. 96 angler fish. That's the only thing that makes sense, right? Like, where is it? Maybe that other shark accidentally bit it or something? Like, I don't see either one of them. Guys, I found him. I don't know if he. Okay. <laughs> that was a terrible example. There he is. Okay. So, he's not dead. He was just, I don't know, either fleeing or or hiding something. But hopefully we got rid of all the bad stuff around here. And I can continue to knock this stupid thing out. Without any interference. And without killing it would be ideal as well. Okay, it would also help if I could hit it. Just saying. He's got to be close. I mean, I say that. I don't know how many these usually take. Ah, oh, boy. Don't swim towards the dolphin with all the manas. I mean, the the whale. Oh, you're so bloody. No, no. No, no. Shark Cuban, don't you do it, bro. Don't you do it. Please. Please, just, just go to sleep without dying. Trying to stagger my shots a little bit, but I bet what happened is that um, the torpor probably dropped quicker than the health could recover and now I'm going to be boned sleepy sleep time I wish T-Bunny was here she'd probably sing you a beautiful song but she's not <laughs> so then I'll just murder you oh sometimes I hate myself well give me your sweet angler gel if nothing else we can use that to tame a manta eat access inventory of course what do you got on you? Nothing. Nothing good. Couple arrows. I will take those back. Uh, crap. Okay, so there's good news and bad news. <laughs> I found a 112, I think. Is that you? There's also like a four around here, but also these things. I'm so glad that they don't uh, dismount you anymore. Oh God, they're doing some damage though. I was like ready just to sit here and tank these things, but they're kind of putting a hurt. No, no, no. Wait, we don't want to kill the angler fish. We've been there, done that already. I know those things are going to turn around and come back at me. Uh, Megalodon, I'm going to need you to part ways with your high level angler fish friend. If you don't mind. Get rid of this bad boy. Huh? Okay. I don't know why that scared me. It's just the edge of the map. Could you stop swimming side by side with that dadgum thing, please? Simply because I know that I'll kill it on accident. What's that? Oh, of course, another eel. Please, eel. Please just inconvenience my day a little bit more. So normally I'm swallowed up in anglerfish, but when I want to find a high-level anglerfish, you know, it takes me for freaking ever, and I've never seen more alpha mosasaurs and tusatuthas before in my dadgum life. But, you know, it is what it... I'm going to get back on this. Seems like a horrible mistake. Okay, my angler, my anglerfish friend is peeling off a little bit up there. So let me have a go at this bad boy. Dead gum. This is a whole thing. This was supposed to be like, okay, please, please, anglerfish, have mercy on my soul. Can I tank you, or are you just gonna fight my shark? Cause that'd be cool. Don't mind that a bit. Please say you're still following me, Mark. Uh, <laughs> shark Cuban. Sorry, Mark. Ah, oh boy, pleasey. That's what I was hoping for. I wish I could hit this thing. It would make taming it more likely. <laughs> this is why I brought 150 arrows. 
Please, pleasey. Please, pleasey. Just no, no! Dad, come it! It is what it is. Fight this thing now. No, no! Get away from the angler fish! Get away from the angler, please! Okay, it's going elsewhere. Dead gum! Why is this such a thing? Swim in circles for a little bit here. Okay. We killed the pleasy. Luckily, it was only level eight. Okay. Change of directions. <laughs> Dead gum it. Here we go. Don't you want to come back with me? Dead gum it. Got a buddy named Wombat. You'll love him. I'm getting blood splatters and no. There we go. Oh no. Okay, quit. Who put the jukes on me? Dead gum. Name this thing Allen Iverson. Stop. Yeah, fight him. That's fine. As long as you go to sleep while you're doing it. It's just all this, these jukes. I'm pretty sure the weight of these arrows at this point would be weighing them down. How do you even ride this thing? It looks extremely small. I'm sure once I get it tamed and get up next to it, where I can see a little bit better, maybe. Maybe not as small as I'm thinking. Where are we going, buddy? This way? Be nice if you would just fall asleep. Looks like a porcupine. How bloody are you? Pretty dadgum bloody. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little pain in the butt anglerfish. Now there's another anglerfish coming. I hope that's the dead, pleasey. I think it is. Are you out? Oh god, I'm about ready just to punch this thing to sleep. It's getting so bloody. How did I miss that? Excuse me. Excuse me. You're attracting a lot of unwanted attention around here. And it'd be really nice if you would just maybe just pass out, go to sleep before you got killed by one of the 17 million sharks coming at me. <laughs> Shark Cuban, go get him. Tank him. Put the hurting on him. Hopefully I won't be too far, and hopefully you're okay. Dad gum it! Dad gum it! Dad gum it! Why can I not tame one of these things without killing it? Get him, Shark Cuban. Get him, bro. Come here. I don't know, maybe my crossbow, maybe I need to craft a primitive crossbow. Maybe I'm just doing too much damage. That's got to be what it is, right? I'm just hitting this daggum thing too hard. The other option, hmm. I don't know. I really don't want to build any more of those, uh, what are they, trank bolts or whatever for the, the harpoon launcher. That may be the way we have to go. Because I'm not going to keep dealing with all this mess, chasing these things around, and not even being able to tame them because I'm killing them. And now I'm over encumbered. Now I'm just angry. Now I'm, ugh. I hit the A button. Listen to me. I'm gonna do things. Crap. All right. Maybe I can. Oh no. I need. Oh god. Where am I? Okay. I'm gonna have to go back. I think and craft a primitive crossbow. <sighs> See if that does any better. Well, it appears that I've actually lucked out a little bit. I was right behind Herbivore Island, so I came over to T Bunny's place, and lo and behold, boom! First thing I see. Harpoon launcher. Okay, that's cool. Then I scroll down. Boom. 
There's like 50, 67 freaking uh, Trank Spear Bolts. So thanks, T-Bunny. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, but I'm borrowing some of your stuff. Maybe I can keep from killing a freaking angler fish for the third time. Where did I even park Shark Cuban? Uh, I'm just so glad that I didn't have to ride all the way back home. And I could just come over here to T-Bunny's place. Let's get back out. Let's take a look. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm going to see. The whole reason I was looking in that other chest to begin with is maybe she's got some bug repellent and or I bet all her freaking crops are dead. Let's see. Crops? All look dead to me. Aha! What are you, Tinto Berry? Not the most useful. Nope. Okay. I gotta see if she's got some bug repellent because I would like to get a Manta too. I bet she does. Not have any. <laughs> Dang it. Attempt 7,996,263. At least that's what it feels like. Found another 96. Um, but bad news. <laughs> there is a Mazasaur right over that away. You can kind of see him in the background. So I'm going to. Where'd he go? I'm going to still try this. Maybe I can kite him just a little farther away. But if that thing comes over here, it's going to be really bad news. It's going to try and keep an eye out. Okay. Have at it. No! Shark! Dad! Damn it, Shark Cuban. You made me trank you. Wasting all the T-Bunny's resources. Going up towards the surface, are we? Good. Mazas don't like it up there. Why are you just swimming towards heaven? Oh, sweet. Put the jukes on me. <laughs> I honestly thought that I would already have an angler tamed and like working towards a, a manta at least by now. Now I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to get a freaking manta. I'm not sure I even want... Do not swim any farther that way. Please turn around. Please turn around. Please turn around. Do I have my fins on? I don't. I knew something didn't feel right. Woo! Now the Mazda can bring it on. I'm feeling pretty speedy. Okay, sure. Oh, uh, Shark Cuban's still with me. Uh, this is terrible. This has been a terrible day at sea. I'm really hoping, according to Dodo Dex, so like there's like a 20% chance of death with the crossbow, uh, according to Dodo Dex. I just happened to like three times get that 20% chance of death. It says there's no chance of death with this dadgum thing. We'll see. It hasn't encountered Rocky, but ah! Oh God, that was mine. It hasn't encountered Rocky before, so eh. I would give it at least a 99% chance of death from here. You better so be worth it. So I think the thing about the angler fish is that um, they can get a whole lot of pearls. I don't know that that's always been the case. I think that was um, fairly recently changed. I say that. I don't know how recently changed it was, but I don't remember them getting pearls from before, which is probably why I never even messed with taming one. But if they get a butt ton of pearls, that'd be really, really handy. Oh, God. Where's that Maza? Please just go to sleep, Mel Anger Angler Fish. You're making me look real stupid. Oh, really? Ah! Oh, why is it just out of nowhere? There's always a huge conga line of sharks. Oh, it's out! It's out! Okay, um. HELP! Do not kill my angler fish! Stop it! Come this way! Don't eat my angler fish! Don't eat my angler fish! Okay, angler fish is okay. I just gotta wreck five sharks at once. If anyone can do it, Shark Cuban can do it. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Shark Cuban. Ba -da 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 -da. To the shark cube and he killed all the sharks and the sharks are dead now. I can finally tame. 
I'm completely encumbered. Go ahead and drop all the raw fish meat. Perfect. Perfect! Please don't be dead. 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 Sweet. Now, kindly take these and eat them. <laughs> so that you may be mine. For the love of God. I know what's going to happen. This thing's going to get 99% tamed. And then the Maza's going to show up out of nowhere. <laughs> We're back, and I think he just tamed up. I think I saw him. Yeah, oh yeah, his little dangly thing's moving. Okay, so I got myself into some more trouble because, um, freaking dadgum freaking me didn't even check the dodo decks. So he needed some uh, biotoxin. <laughs> I didn't bring any narcotics. I was so unprepared. Why do you guys let me do things by myself? I was so unprepared, but at least I was able to kill a couple jellyfish uh, with the uh, the spear bolts and um, I was able to get some toxin so that I could feed it to him so that he didn't wake up. So here we go. Now he's eating all my raw mutton. Thanks a lot. I should be able to ride this thing. It's my first time. My first time on an angler fish and I'm not too fat for it. I was kind of expecting them to be a little faster. So why do they look so much huger? I don't know. Like on it, like, yeah, okay. That's a decent sized fish. But I feel like when you hop off, it just looks like compared to my hands, like, I don't know. It's really weird. But okay, I really want to, oh yeah. Shark Cuban, don't want to leave you behind, buddy. Let's go find some pearls so that we can compare the gathering. Oh, here's some. Big of the devil. Um, I should be getting like six or so per handful. Let's see what we do on the angler. Let's just compare for sure. Oh, I forgot the Maz is still over here. Oh, when I said six, I meant 49. 49 versus 243. Are you freaking kidding me? I just got a thousand sil silica pearls right there, guys. Thousand. Okay, 998. For those of you who are like super specific. Plus another 520. This is amazing. This is, I didn't even realize until recently that these things did that. So like, yeah, look at all the freaking pearls. This is the most amazing thing in the world. What do the stats look like? Almost 2000, scratch that, 2000 health, 768 stamina, um, 483 weight, which isn't as terrible as I was thinking it would be. And then 268 melee. I don't know how these guys, I would think you're not really gonna wanna like battle things. And maybe I should have pumped something other than than uh, melee right there. Their stamina doesn't seem to be too bad. I don't know if they gather anything else. There was oil nodes down there. I really highly doubt that they get oil. But um, I want to say they're really good at getting pearls, obviously. We just saw that. And then really good at getting angler gel. Maybe we need to find some other angler fish or something like that. I don't even think we're going to have time to tame a man to this one, but that's fine. Because after this giant you know, cluster of what I just attempted to do. Uh, it would be much better, I think, if T-Bunny and or Wombat were with me. Let's see how we can do in I can't believe all the pearls this thing gets. Maybe I can find another angler fish and just, it's just mono y mono. Speaking of the devils, this is just working out perfect. What level are y'all? Not that I'm going to try and tame you. 12 and 8. Okay. How much do I hit for? Boom! 55. Boom! Y'all hit for nothing. Because you can't hit me. Because you can't hit me. Okay, you should be dead. Boom. Boom. All right, Shark Cuban, you can kindly. Oh, yeah. So, look, I just got uh, how much angler gel from that? 180 angler gel from that one angler. That's what we're going to use to tame the mantis, and maybe we'll do that next episode, maybe we won't. I don't know exactly how that's going to play out. But I'm thinking, before I get this thing killed, there is two Satuthis over here. There is an Alpha Maza over here. There is obviously the regular Maza over here. It's a terrible place to be. Let me try and get these back. I really need to get T-Bunny to build me. This one's really cool. I got such a plain looking one now. Looking at this one that's all blue. Oh, I want that one. Okay, let's get this back to Wombat's base, I suppose, since that's closer to me, until I can get T-Bunny to build me a pin. And then once we get this back to safety, we'll be back. And we're back here at Wombat's base, so the S-plus update really kind of 
screwed his tower a little bit. It's it changed all his, his tinting so it's clear. It kind of just looks like bare bones. I kind of think that's hilarious because he's going to have to go through and retint all that. But here he is, our brand new anglerfish. I'm kind of excited about that. He actually looks pretty cool now that you can uh, kind of get him out of the water a little bit and see that he's got his little dangly thing. It's pretty amazing looking. I went ahead and named him before I even realized what he looked like because the black and green is really cool. Probably leaves some good opportunities, but I named him Lord Dangler of the Anglers. You know what I mean? He's pretty much the most OP anglerfish you've ever seen in the entire history of your life. And I'm hoping that until I can get a breeding, no, not a breeding pen, a water pen built over by my base, maybe, <laughs> just maybe Wombat can keep these things alive since he's got himself a tech trough now. Now, we're going to look at this. First and foremost, we're going to look in this tech trough, okay? Don't be surprised if you see stone. Don't be surprised if you see keratin. There might be trach darts in there. I don't know. But I can almost guarantee you when we look in this, it's not going to have fish meat. So I've already got it on my inventory. Let's see. Guarantee there's no fish meat in here. Oh, God. There's a ton of fish meat. Now it looks stupid. Okay. Good job, Wombat. I'm going to go ahead and hook you up with my fish meat, too. Oh, I need to get those pearls off of it. I'm proud of you, bro. I was wrong. I should have given you the benefit of the doubt. I don't even see any stone in here. That's a magnificent thing. I got to put something random in his. Hmm. Bunny turds. No. Bunny turds. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Bunny turds. There we go. I have to put something random in here. Will it go? No, of course not. Surely it'll let me put stone or something in there. Dang, I don't have anything random to put in his cementing paste. Cementing paste. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. Dang it. Wombat, how did you even hack it last time to get to get stone in there? Let's see. You're making me look like a full wombat. I didn't know you had to have special hacks. There we go. There we go. Stone. <laughs> and I bet it does that because doesn't the uh, the rock the rock elemental eat stone so that's probably why it allows there in there but yeah that's probably why it allows that in there now you got some stone in there you're welcome wombat um so guys I'm imagining that's where we're gonna leave this one there's no way I could go through and tame a manta right now number one time restrictions number two that was just a complete beating I need this dude right here to wake up wake up bro time to go tame a manta he's not waking up We'll have to wait a little bit, but guys, if you ended up enjoying this episode, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Hey, it was kind of cool to do an episode, you know, just us, you know, just a little one-on-one -on -one time. Get to bond with everybody again. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe. And until we meet again, Adrian.